I'm Tipsy Rose Blanchard. She's an unlikely social media star, from her makeup tutorials Get ready with me. to her secret prison recipes. I'm about to show you how to make a prison-style energy drink with only four ingredients. The controversial and complicated Gypsy Rose Blanchard has amassed nearly 10 million followers in the five months since getting out of prison. Hi, Gypsy. Hi. Some people might hide from the spotlight, mm -hmm. but you're going in a different direction. Sometimes I kind of feel like I have no choice. What do you mean by that? Certainly you have choice. You I don't guess. have to post. Uh, no, I don't, but I mean, I think that with social media is concerned, I think that I wanted to be like everyone else um, and have that right of freedom to have social media and interact with my friends online. I had no idea that I would have 9.8 million followers. Gypsy's fame and infamy came after she pled guilty to second-degree murder for plotting to have her mother killed after years of abuse. Her mother, Dee Dee, forced her to undergo unnecessary surgeries, shaved her head, and kept her in a wheelchair with a feeding tube. You're often portrayed either as the victim of Munchausen or the murderer. Right. And what do you want people to know about you? Quite honestly, I'm starting to feel like they want a perfect victim, and there is no such thing as a perfect victim. In their mind, the perfect victim would have died. And so now that I survived and the perpetrator of the abuse is the one that died, then I'm getting the hate. With new freedom comes a new look. She's gone blonde and has had cosmetic surgery, including a nose job. I have always been very self-conscious about my nose. I wanted to do it for myself, my self-esteem, what would make me feel beautiful about myself. That surgery must have felt different. It did. It did feel different um, because I got to choose whether or not it was necessary. In December, Gypsy was granted parole after serving more than eight years in a Missouri prison. Her first months of freedom captured in a new Lifetime docuseries, Gypsy Rose, Life After Lockup. Not every day is a fairy tale in life. While still behind bars, Gypsy met and married Ryan Anderson, and cameras were there as he picked her up from prison to begin their new life together in Louisiana. What if I snore? Well, then, then we got to get a divorce right away. <laughs> but by April, Gypsy filed for divorce. What? What's so wrong so fast? People need to understand that Ryan and I had been in a relationship for three years. And in those three years, we had been through a lot of ups and downs. And sometimes relationships just take its course. And there was some intimation, some reporting out there that you were afraid of him. Is that accurate? Um, I'm, I'm not afraid of Ryan. Um, I think that there is some things that happened that I think we both wish wouldn't have. Anderson's attorney telling ABC News any allegations of abuse leveled against Mr. Anderson are false and adamantly denied. And we consider any such allegations to be defamatory in nature. Do you regret the marriage? I regret getting married while I was still in prison. Um, I don't regret the relationship. Now Gypsy is focused on moving forward while making peace with her past. You got a lot of backlash on Mother's Day. Mm -hmm. It does not go without notice that my own biological mother is not here. What do you feel like the backlash was about? And what, if anything, have you learned from it? Being associated with anything to do with a mother or um, mother figure, I'm going to get backlash for it. I wanted to acknowledge her. I wanted to honor her memory. And if I got hate for that, then so be it. At this point, you're aware that you will always be associated mm -hmm. with as somebody who mm -hmm. helped murder her mother. Right. I go through my own guilt on a daily basis, and so it's not like I could ever hide from that, but I don't know if people want me to crawl up in a ball and just start crying all the time. I can't live that way. I have to heal myself. You've moved back in with dad mm -hmm. and stepmom, mm -hmm. but you call her mom. She has been the one person that I know without a doubt has my best interest at heart. Hey y'all, so me and Christy are in NOLA. Christy, what do you think about how far she's come? Oh, she's come a long way. She's not the little meek girl anymore. And what motherly advice do you give her? What you don't know doesn't hurt you. What people say about her shows their character, pretty much. 
and just know in her heart that the people that know her and love her know the truth. What is the truth? The truth is that she is remarkable.